Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet before proceeding. Turn the dryer around and remove the terminal block cover. Place the multimeter on a chair and set it to read higher than 240 volts. You need to use a set of insulated alligator clips in your test probes so you don't have to be touching any wires or touching the dryer while you do this live test. Connect the test probes to terminals L1 and L2 on the terminal block like this. Connect the dryer to the wall outlet and make sure you don't touch the dryer at all. The reading should be about 240 volts. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet. Connect the test probes between terminals L1 and N. Connect the dryer again to the wall outlet and make sure you don't touch the dryer at all. The reading should be about 120 volts. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet again. Connect the test probes to terminals N and L2. The reading should be about 120 volts. The voltage should be as follows. From L1 to L2 should be about 240 volts. From L1 to N should be about 120 volts. And from L2 to N should be about 120 volts. If you get the right voltages at the terminal block, then the problem is in the dryer. If you don't get the right voltages at the terminal block, then the problem could be in the fuse or circuit breaker box or in the wall outlet.